This is the first of hopefully many videos to help you get the most out of HexEdit. I will demonstrate using HexEdit 3.5, but generally you can use any version of HexEdit, including the free version. I'll assume you know some basics, such as what bits and bytes are and the type of information that a file can contain, but if not, you can read the excellent introduction to binary files in the help. Now I'll just open any file now to demonstrate a few features. I'll just go into the hex edit directory and open file, read only, so I don't accidentally change anything. Now this is an XML file which is just a plain text file, so we can just as easily edit it in a text editor like Notepad. But you can use a hex editor to view and edit any type of file, not just text files. Files that aren't text files are often called binary files since each byte can contain any combination of bits, not just text characters. Hex editors are often called binary file editors. Now this is a typical binary editor where um, you've got the addresses on the left, the hex values in the middle and the corresponding text characters on the right. The first part of the file is highlighted in light blue. This is called the mark and it's very useful but we'll talk about that later. If you've used any other sort of editor at all then the mouse and keyboard should work as you expect. You can move the cursor around using the arrow keys, page up, page down, home moves to the start of line, end moves to the end of the line, control home to the start of file, control end to the end of file. Holding down the control key while you move the arrow keys moves by groups and the tab key flips between the hex and character areas as in most hex editors. Note that as you move the cursor in one area there is a shadow cursor in the other area showing the corresponding byte. You can select a block of bytes by holding down the shift key and using the cursor keys. Of course you can simply select using the mouse as well and this supports auto scroll etc. But I'll talk a bit more about selecting later. You can change this default display in many ways. For example you can select from the show area drop down list to view just hex or just characters. It's also a good idea to turn on auto fit so you can see as much as possible on the screen. The other display mode is called stack mode, which is like character mode, but underneath each character are two corresponding hex digits. I'll just switch back to both area. Um, now you always want to see the data as hex, but sometimes you want to see file addresses in decimal. This button toggles between hex and decimal addresses. Note that all addresses start at zero like in all hex editors but there is an option to change that which I'll talk about later. That's just a brief introduction to using hex edit. In the next demo we will see how to change uh, the display according to your preferences or to the task at hand.